Hi all, today I am going to take the topic Data Warehouse Design and Modeling. Before entering into it, we need to know what is Data Warehouse. It is nothing but a huge volume of data storing in an efficient manner that is called Data Warehouse. And coming to the topic Data Warehouse Modeling. It is a process of designing the schemas of detailed and summarized information of Data Warehouse. It is a structure of both detailed and summarized information in it and it is an essential stage for it and mainly for two reasons. First, data warehouse clients can visualize their relationship and secondly, improve the efficiency of using it. And going to the structure of data inside the warehouse, highly summarized, lightly summarized, current detail values and older details data. These are the four categories of structures of data inside the warehouse and metadata. Metadata is the first element of data warehouse and it's like an index of a book and defines the warehouse object. Highly summarized data. It is compact and directly available. Lightly summarized means it's a low level detail found at the current. Older details mean it is infrequently accessed. And coming to the data modeling life cycle. So data model life cycle is to fulfill the goals for storing, maintaining and accessing the data within the system and mainly for the business information. In this we have three levels, conceptual data model, physical data model, logical data model. First conceptual, it recognizes the highest level relationship and mainly explains the semantics Semantics is nothing but a simple meaning. Logical. It represents the data in a structured form and it's a business data structures, rules, relationships and etc. And going to the physical. Physical, it's a nothing but a how the data is represented or which form the data is presented like tables, views, column names, etc. And the next topic is types of data warehouse. Enterprise Warehouse, Data Mart, Virtual Machine. Now we are going to see Enterprise Warehouse. It contains all the information about the subject, the entire organization. It means it contains both detailed and summarized information. We can implement the Enterprise Warehouse in mainframes and super servers and stores up to gigabytes and terabytes. And the next is Data Mart. It contains data specific to the group of users, not for the entire organization. Here we will have only summarized data, no detailed data and it has two types, independent data mart, dependent data mart. Independent data mart captures from one or more operational systems. Dependent data mart is exactly from the enterprise data. And, and the last type is virtual warehouse. It is a set of separate database. During the production, collecting the data from so many sources and kept in a one place. Data can frequently searched without accessing the entire data. And the next topic is data warehouse design. So it's mainly for the particular needs and managing queries. And there are two approaches in it top down approach bottom up approach top down approach an approach is a data driven approach as information is gathered and integrated first mainly it gathers the information first and then it combines the data so here I have a uh, pictorial representations of top down design approach first the systems and the sources are giving the information to the extract load transform after that they are dividing into when data mats so this is called top down approach and coming to the bottom up approach it, first the data mat is created and analytical capabilities for particular business processes this means first dividing the data and then it combines so here we have sources and systems are directly goes into the uh, data mart 1, 2, 3. After that it combines into when uh, 
same storage like that so this is called bottom up design approach uh, for example if we download uh, five musics from different languages we can easily separate in it so this is called uh, top down approach in top down approach itself uh, we can um, have difficulties if we download 500 songs and we cannot separate that into different languages so to overcome this they bought a bottom up approach so if we download 500 songs and after downloading it stores the direct places for that particular songs so it is easy to divide and then finally we can combine into an uh, one file that is called music so this is bottom up approach so most of the places they use bottom up approaches mainly for the business purposes if you have any doubt you can ask me thank you